Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Today I wanted to make a video on how to do an I Ching reading. So first of all, you're gonna need an I Ching book. Mine is the Wilhelm and Baines version translation, but you can use whichever one you have or whichever one you like. You need a piece of paper, something to write with, and then three coins. They can be pennies or Chinese coins or whatever, um, as long as they have the heads or tails. <laughs> that you can differentiate. Um, the way you do it is you're gonna throw these coins, these three coins, six different times. And you're gonna count how many points you get each time you throw it. Now, tails are going to be worth two points. Heads are worth three points. So, I throw it the first time. I got a heads, heads, and a tails. So that's eight. That's eight points. And when you get an even number, you're going to put a broken line. And we start from the bottom up. So, a broken line. Let's do it again. Now we have nine, because there's three heads. That's an odd number, so we're going to put a solid line. Now, because I got three heads, I'm also gonna put a little dot next to this line. If you get three heads or three tails, you put a dot next to that line. I'm gonna throw it again. So this is a seven, which is an odd number. So I'm gonna put a, a single line. Another seven. So I'm going to put another solid line. I have an eight, so that's an even number. So I'm going to put a broken line. And then I'll throw it one more time. Another eight, so I'm going to put a broken line. So there are six lines. Now what this dot means when you get either a six or a nine, you're gonna put a dot next to that, that line. And the dot is the changing line. So not only am I going to look up this hexagram, I'm also gonna pay attention to one, two, the second line. The book is gonna tell you, it'll have your the oracle answer, and then it'll say line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, line six. So what the dot means is you're gonna pay attention to that line. So I'm gonna pay special attention to line two in this hexagram. These are all of the answers we're gonna look up. So we go to the back of our book. Should have, um, chart and then you go ahead and you match the upper trigrams with the top three lines and the lower trigrams with the bottom three lines and then you use this chart to figure it out so this one let's see on the top it is a broken broken solid so that's here and on the bottom it is a solid solid broken right here so that is going to be number 32. Okay. So now that you know what numbers you're looking at, you go ahead in your book and look up hexagram number 32 first. And that one is duration. And so you read that. And then right here, see where it says the lines? That'll start the lines. And we had, our changing line was line two. So 
that says right here, nine in the second place. So you would read that portion way right down. Um, from a couple weeks ago, and I've been having a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you all have fun doing it too. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.